Everybody, Rivington here hanging out with Crepo at the Sangam World Cup Stadium. We are very pleased to be joined by Imagine Dragons. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I want to get to a little later the fact that you guys are streaming, having a huge amount of fun. But for now, Warriors, huge song right now. How did this creative collaboration just start with Riot? Where did it begin? Well, it, it all started on tour. You know, there's so many, like you come off stage, and the kind of adrenaline that is pumping through your veins, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to like unwind. Uh, so we all kind of were gamers and someone like said, hey, have you ever played League of Legends? I think it maybe it started with me or you. It was you, yeah. It was me. I, anyway, so, so I was like, no, I'll try it. So I played it and then I introduced the guys well, to it. Well, you told me about it and you're like, it's like the coolest game ever. I was like, I don't even want to tell, I actually remember, I was like, I don't want to tell you about it because it will like take over your life. <laughs> we, yeah. we find ourselves with like weird pockets of time to fill during the day before a show also. So, yeah. but like we usually have Wi-Fi. So it was actually like a perfect fit. It was, like, so you guys will lives. actually try to play on the road when you can. Constantly. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Like we will be, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times we're like overseas and like, Getting the the, the <laughs> European. What's the pain? Yeah, are we in North America right now? Okay, I'll download that. Quick, start downloading. There's a new patch. Oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, the new patch. In the hotel, the middle of the night. But yeah, I think we have time if we start right now, yeah, guys. We we I will tell you this. We have been late on stage in front of like you know twenty thousand plus people at arena, literally just due to the fact that we were playing a League Don't of Legends game. That. It's a secret. Yeah. Well, if ever if there was ever a reason, that that would be the best one. So, how did Imagine Dragons work with Riot Games to come up with Warriors? What was kind of the idea? Where did it come from? We met Christian, who is over the music, and just started riffing off and talking and wanted to create together. It was really this super organic thing. Nobody was, there was just, it just felt like, I don't know, it was something that we loved and they were a fan of the music and we were like, well, let's do something together. What was the length of that process? Because it wasn't, it doesn't happen overnight. Right. There was a lot of collaboration between both. What would you say? It was probably about a month, right, of back and forth? Yeah. It was a month of kind of starting to create a song and, you know, you get the bare skeletons and he said, well, let me, let me pull it in with this huge, like, 100-piece orchestra I have and, <laughs> like, write out some parts and, like, you know, bring in some timpanis and different things. It was kind of, it was a really fun process. I really didn't know what to expect, honestly, when we first sent him our bare bones. Yeah, it was really cool. Was that a new process for you guys to kind of you know, write something, throw it out there, and then get it back with something else totally. new, and then you have to dabble with it? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we're a pretty like introverted bunch. Like we don't we haven't a lot of collaboration with other people, so we're kind of careful about that. But this was just so organic and easy. Like it has to be easy for us to do it. It's got to feel natural, you know. So it was so natural with him that it was, it was really fun. Well, there's definitely a love there that comes from League. You guys were streaming with Crepo and Scara. Yes. You guys actually just decided to play. And then it went online, which <laughs> led to a whole bunch of different things. <laughs> I heard there were champion swaps. You were, what were you trying to AD for somebody and then support? And you just, what was going on? Yeah, so we were both fighting for support. And uh, good guy, Imagine Dragons, actually let me play support for first game. <laughs> but then we uh, we unleashed the Terrible Illusion, I think, I tried to play. And the Fiddlestick support kind of didn't work out. He's, he's work. a great Fid support. Like It's a thing. It, it was, I, I think at that point we were being ghosted in our match. <laughs> also, I think that was happening a little bit. I think I tried to do an, I, it was the saddest, I mean, I know Amumu was already a sad mummy, but that had to have been the saddest Amumu that's ever happened ever. So how'd you guys feel with some, playing with some pros? What was that like? Did it was extra, extra, extra not good. I felt, I felt <laughs> very small. To, be, to lose with like two of the best players in the world, you have, we have to be, to be really bad. Right? Hey, we, really we, really we, we won some, we lost some. <laughs> it was always due to us for the losses. Oh, Blue Kong did carry. Well, I heard yeah, there were wins. Kong. What is this oh. Blue Kong about? Because no. you let him run into lane or in the jungle with AP no, runes? No blue buff leash at the beginning. Yeah, what is no, oh, the blue I blue nice guy Crepo over here? I literally <laughs> wanted to die. We started the game with these pros. It was like the big moment. I was so I was way more nervous to do that than like any show or anything. I'm like shaking and then I I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, I picked like the wrong runes. Like I'm brand palm right yeah, there. Yeah, I was and everybody was so nice, but I was it was just done though. So when you guys had a chance to check the Twitch chat, I heard there was something to the effect of, I will buy all your singles if you let the opponents <laughs> gank Crepo yes. and let him die. How tempting was this? Uh, I took it. That's why we lost. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta watch out. Twitch chat is dangerous. Yeah, these guys playing. Don't it's nerve wracking. Like that. That was my first experience with Twitch, and it's very nerve wracking because you feel like you, if you make a mistake, well, you literally are. You're, you're like everybody's saying it, you know. And so, it's you're definitely think twice when you're like, I'm gonna go do this like risky move. You're like, mm, maybe I'll play it cool and like <laughs> keep my zero 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 right now. I think I think everybody should have a, everyone should have a crepel support somewhere on yeah. the team because it makes your life so easy. Those hooks were just coming in. It was so easy just to 
<laughs> aim and click. Yeah, yeah. Makes it really easy. So thank you. As long as there's no wind wall. Right. <laughs> of course. The dreaded wind wall. <laughs> so during the stream, you guys seem really genuinely just touched by what the fans were saying, everybody on Twitch about the new Warriors. You know, what has it been like since the release of the song in, in your video? It's been a great response yeah. for sure from like every from even like uh, you know old old fans that have been there since the beginning. I've heard great stuff from newer fans that are just kind of getting into the band. I've heard great stuff, um, and and I've heard so much positive stuff about the video. Like everyone loves the video, even people that don't know what League of Legends is. The video is just unreal in the way it kind of captures the song. It's kind of cool that we had the opportunity to create something a little outside of the music that we usually make, something a little more cinematic, a little more kind of. I don't know, dramatic, Grandiose, something yeah. that can kind of score the excitement that comes from this. You know, at the end of the day, the most important thing to us and to our fans are that our project is real. Everything we do is real. This is who we are. You know, at the end of the day, Imagine Dragons is what Imagine Dragons is. As long as we're being true to that, our fans are cool to it. So our fans absolutely know. You know, I think I like tweeted probably like seven <laughs> months ago, like, Play League of Legends, this game's awesome. So it's like, it's part of our life. It's part of our story. Our fans just want to know our story. And uh, so to create a song and to do it, you know, to with something that we love, it's cool to us, it's cool to our fans. And uh, yeah, we've been really happy. Guys, I want to thank you so much again for joining us here at the Sangam World Cup Stadium, taking time out of your busy schedule to hang with us today. It's really meant a lot, and we can't wait to hear the show. Right on, Thanks man. for having us. Thank so much. much.